Good morning world, greetings from Ladakh in the high Himalayas. Today I'll tell you what's happening to the glaciers in Ladakh and the Himalayas and how it's going to impact you. Hi, I'm Sonam Wangchuk. I'm starting my 15th day of climate fast out in the open. Temperatures this night have been minus 11 degrees and together with me some 115 people slept in the open to remind the Indian government of the promises they have made to safeguard the fragile ecology and the unique indigenous tribal cultures that live here under the sixth schedule of the Indian constitution. Now about the glaciers. Ladakh and the Hindu Kush Himalayas are supposed to be the third pole of the planet, holding the largest reservoir of fresh water that feeds roughly two billion people, one fourth of the planet's population. And entire North India depends on these waters. We all know that global warming melts these glaciers, but what we don't know, many of us don't know, is that apart from global warming, which has to do with the lifestyle of people in all the cities of the world, what affects the glaciers equally badly is the black carbon or soot that is released by local human activities. And this is serious. Research by Kashmir University had shown that in Ladakh, glaciers near the highway where diesel trucks and taxis ply are melting much faster than other glaciers. So you can imagine if tourist taxis and trucks can melt nearby glaciers, what would happen if rampant industry, mining, etc. are allowed in this fragile ecology? This will melt all our glaciers in no time. Now what happens when such black carbon and soot is released by vehicles or industries or even household heating systems. The black unburnt carbon smoke that is released is taken by winds and it sits on the white sparkling glaciers making them dark which absorbs the sun's energy and melts the glaciers very fast and they go in no time. Now when the glaciers go away, the local people in Ladakh definitely will become climate refugees because it's the lifeline for them. But this will also mean that entire North India will not have water reserved from winters till spring. They'll only have rainfalls which are erratic and not dependable. So this does not affect only us in Ladakh, it's your problem also. And therefore, we should on one hand, change the lifestyle of people in the big cities. Secondly, demand from governments to safeguard this sacred water reservoir of the nation, the abode of Shiva from the attacks of industrial mining lobbies. And that's why people in Ladakh are demanding six schedule safeguards for Ladakh. And the government had even promised. So we are just reminding them to keep their promises. That's what I had to say about the glaciers in these regions. Thank you very much and have a good day. Jai Hind.